Hello, UCAR. Peter Christensen here, coming to you from the CEO's desk. Going to address a question I've been getting a lot lately, and that is, can a builder do that? Peter, can a builder do that? And it's usually asked from the buyer's perspective, right? And the short answer is, what does the contract say? That's going to dictate that relationship between a buyer and a builder, is what does the contract say? So the questions are, can a, can a builder raise the price mid-build? Can a builder change the parameters, change the, the job, the details midstream? Or can a builder cancel the contract and sell to someone else mid-build? The answer is, does the contract give them the right? If it does, then yes, they can. So we've got to understand what these contracts say. We've got to understand what the terms are of the deal. It's like that with the purchase of any real estate, land, commercial, residential, new build. It doesn't matter. The, the answer is in the contract. What are we agreeing to? So if the builder has in it that they can demand a higher price or return deposits and move on, then they can do that, right? We've agreed to those terms as buyer and builder. And that's just, that's the way it goes. How aggressive one side of the transaction is allowed to be depends on the parties in the market, right? If, if the market's more in favor of one side than the other, then that side tends to be able to get away with a little more uh, uh, favorable terms in the contract. And this is not an indictment on the, on the builders, by the way. This is, uh, we know they're dealing with shortages of materials, labor, uh, un uncertainty in bids being held for days, not weeks or months. And it's a tough market for them. And they're trying to adjust. Some are maybe more friendly to the consumer than others. And that's just the way it goes. So, but as you, as you get into one of these deals, as a, from a buyer's perspective, boy, you got to know what the relationship is going to look like. You got to understand. I think we can, these terms can come up and not be a surprise if they're well communicated between the two parties. So understand the contract, understand the terms so that neither party is surprised at the end of the day. So if you're representing a builder, be good at explaining these contracts and what happens if they need to increase the price. What type of communication will there be? What options does a consumer have, a buyer have? And a buyer, same thing. Understand. Ask the questions. When you see a um, clause that's hard to understand or they bring up maybe raising prices or backing out of contracts, understand the parameters. When What triggers that? What can happen? If it gets too complicated, there's always the option of having an attorney review the, the contract. And remember, they're all negotiable. Now, whether one party or, or another is willing to budge on any of the terms, that just depends on the party and the bargaining position they think they have. But these are contracts. You can negotiate terms and you can bring, bring up questions or try to, try to move on uh, and eliminate stuff or augment stuff. That's all, always a possibility if the parties are willing to negotiate. But it's so important we understand the contracts so that the buyer's not surprised if six months into the build job, the, buyer, the, the builder asks for more money and the buyer says, wait a minute, you can't do that. Oh, it's all in the contract that they could do that. They could have done it all along. If the terms are not acceptable, buyer can go build with a different builder, right? That's the option. Not all builders are doing the same things in their contracts. You just got to understand what the contract is that you're signing. Remember, this is not legal advice. This is legal information only. If you need specific legal advice, please contact an attorney. Thanks for tuning in.